All right, uh, welcome back to another episode of the Interceptor. Uh, working on it tonight. Um, give me a, I'll give you a quick. I was talking about making new body mounts for the uh, Trans Am. Uh, moving in the back, so I can cut the sidewall or the firewall. Excuse me. Uh, right there is a, kind of the finished one I've made, and right here is a rough cut. Um, one of the first things I did here. Um, after I cut it, uh, is square up the rear side here, so it's gonna mount flush with the frame. Sometimes I get a little tongue twisted here, so I gotta be careful how I say it without messing up. But uh, I'm gonna put it down, pause for just a moment, and kind of go through on how I made my first one. All right, how I made my first one. And then uh, you can see how I set things up and how things got done. Hang on just one moment. All right. Now, this channel piece we're looking at here is three inches wide here. So what I did is I took my square and brought it in. Um, we're going to scribe some lines to find the center of it. Scrap a line all the way across. Let's see that one there. Yeah, I can. Right here, make another line. All right. Come this way, this one out. Show my scribes. Okay, what a... Scribe that line. I don't know if you can see it real well right there. This one goes, we're going to take this really small drill bit right here. I'm going to find my drill. Uh, it's always great being unprepared as well. All right. Also, use a one and a half inch uh, hole saw. We cut the hole out with. That's all. And here's the body mounts here. Um, you see this hole here, that's what the inch and a half hole is for. This coming from the bottom side, this one goes on top of another washer. Kind of get an idea of where we're sitting here. Pretty close to the same. How it's going to be. Yeah, kind of give us a center line here. Let's set this one on top. So there's our mark for our drill for our pilot hole, not only just for the hole saw, but what I did with the first one, and I'll put it together here in a little bit, is drill this small hole here, and it's actually the pilot hole. I set butt this up against the frame. And push it up all against the floorboard and use this pilot hole as my centering hole for my half inch bolt that's going to go through the floorboard. Just swing it around this frame here, this front part. I don't know if we can see the frame real well. Bend it right down there. Basically, what I did, I set this against the frame, up against the floorboard with that small pilot hole I just drilled in this piece here. 
and I run the drill up through the bottom, through the floorboard, making my hole so everything lines up. So, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to take a moment, and uh, I'm going to clean off these edges here, smooth these off, you can see the jagged edges. So we're going to clean all that up, and then probably go ahead and drill the inch and a half hole right here, and finish this up. So hang tight. All right, we got the hole saw for inch and a half set up. I got the uh, bracket mounted in the vise. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that hole right quick. So once again, using a small hole that I drilled through it initially will be also our pilot hole. I've already drilled the hole in the floorboard with a small drill bit. So now we got our pilot hole set for the half inch drill bit we're gonna to use to, uh, for the bolt that'll be used going through the floorboard. Yeah, I'm gonna line this up here. Spraying a little bit of lubricant. I got WD-40 out here today. Just keeping the blade lubricated a little bit. and start to tilt the bracket and reset the vise real quick. Okay. And then more WD-40, help clean the metal shavings off and lubricate the blade. And there it is. Got an inch and a half hole drilled. Let me glue it right and wipe that off. Flip this over. And there we go, another body mount. I did get trim a little bit extra off of here. It should have been more like this side here, but we we'll just have to run with it. Not a big deal. Um, not much work to, to make this all happen. I'll push out a hole for just one more moment. I'm going to set up the one on the passenger side. It'll be a lot easier to see. You guys will be able to see kind of exactly what I'm talking about. All right, and there we go. Um, got the body mount. As you can see, there's the bolt going through. It's got multiple layers. You can see the seam there, so it's double sheet metal for added strength. Uh, measured the space, so the new mount bracket matches the top of the frame. And with the bolt holding everything in place, we can, it holds it to get it welded and spotted. 
add a little bit more reinforcement to it later, but this kind of give me an idea what it looks like underneath here for our new body mounts. There's the existing body mount, the factory one. Um, like I said, this is checkered racing subframe. That's you know early in other videos. Um, when I was talking last video, had the the back ends were spread apart a little bit. Had to get the ratchet strap and pull them together so the bolt holes for the factory mounts would line up. But yeah, these are the new ones I'll be putting in so I can cut the firewall and move them back. And with the added structure with the uh, roll cage going out to the frame horn, we sh okay as far as the frame goes. So uh, just another quick video um, to, to give you an idea. I've been talking about it, and you can see there's progress getting done. Like I said, with the warmer weather, I'll be out here a lot more, get, trying to get more stuff done, taking advantages of the stuff I have. So it's really not costing me anything. I've already had the body mounts. Um, you can see they're solid, so I'll be able to go ahead and I'll start welding, and I have to worry about them burning up. And as I tack weld these in place, I can take the bolts out and the body mounts, uh, everything out of the way, and finish welding it later. But that was my plan. It's simple, um, easy to do, and like I said, with it being held there, it makes it great to uh, get it welded in place so we can move forward with the project. Uh, once again, I appreciate you taking time to watch. Yeah, I'm laying on my side, and you can see a shot back in the background. Um, really appreciate everything guys and, uh, keep watching for more, uh, progress. Thanks.